little pretzel people welcome to my first video so it's just gonna be like a quick little get ready with me because I have work today and um, I figure why not make the first video about makeup yes the title is correct I'm a lesbian in fact I get whispered about it I work all the time it's very fun I had a dream last night that uh I got fired because of it, so we'll see how this goes today. I work at a Dairy Queen, and it is absolutely terrible. I'm trying to quit, but I need another job first, obviously. But I figure, for now, I'm gonna stick with it until I can find something. I'm gonna ask for an application to the food line today so hopefully I can quit pretty soon so I absolutely hate Dairy Queen I don't get any breaks or anything not sponsored hi um so we're just primed yeah. the baby's getting instant pour remover it's, I just got it so I'm trying it and then I usually next go in with foundations. Okay. Ta da! Very, very pale. Okay, I finally got one of these. I didn't used to have one. And uh, I love it so much. It is the best thing that I've ever spent money on, ever. I got this with dog sitting money, so. I wish I could just dog sit for the rest of my life. I am 17. That's up. I turn 18 in December. And I'm getting a tattoo probably early January. And uh, once I get 18 and my next paycheck and everything, I'm going to get my septum pierced. Which I recently, just this morning, decided to start researching how to become a tattoo artist. You know, I'm not a very good artist, but I could learn, you know. I've got the basics down. I've taken a art class before. Just work at it and I'll be good to go. But for now, I could also try and be a piercer. I haven't looked into that one yet. I do artists take a lot of different classes and stuff, but I mean, it's obvious. You are sticking needles in someone's skin, so you gotta be healthy about it and trained and stuff. That's the main thing, because I don't know where I could get an apprenticeship for three years, and then I'd probably have to pay for it, so I don't even make any money, which is great. It's an amazing, relaxing sound of me. Hitting my face over and over again. Um, as you can see here, and it looks kind of brown, but it's red. I'm a ginger. My hair is dyed black because it was purple and blue when I did my job interview and they told me I had to make it a natural color. I dyed it black and it's growing out. So I shaved all of my hair off because it was so damaged. But, uh, my next color, once I'm allowed, I want to dye my hair bright pink, like real bubblegum pink. I love hair dye so much and piercings. I have an industrial bar that I have not changed yet and my gauges are at a two. I'm a little bit scared to even try and put the zero in, so that's my alarm going off. How nice up early today. I didn't sleep last night. So 
so far for that, but I need to have this done. So when we finish the foundation, I go in with the concealer, if I can get it up. And I have stick concealer. I don't even know what this company is, but it's cruelty free, so I like it. I actually color my whole eyelid to give me a sticky surface. And then highlight areas. And my face is really red. So I do a lot of a lot a lot. Because I uh, I'm only a ginger, but I have really bad skin, like, rosacea, so my face is bleeding 24-7 under the skin, and my face is really red. And even with this, you can still see kind of a pinkish, in real life it's so red. I figure the first thing I'm going to invest in is light and a mirror to go for here my setup. And that way I can do this without the window and be a little bit more professional about it, you know? But if my camera's pretty good, I don't think I need to really worry about that just yet. Another thing that I really, really want to do is I want to be a model, like an alternative one, which would be great. So I'm going in with the powder and also at the same time I'm going to take, if I can get it open, I'm really bad at this, opening these. There we go. I'm gonna take this shade here and base my eyelid with it. So that sticky surface, we're gonna use it. Well, I don't really do heavy makeup work. I typically don't even foundation but my face is so red lately that I just can't not use it and then I have a giant fluffy brush I love these so much I'm gonna take the foundation and go everywhere with it because my face is very oily and this is how I make foundation and everything look a little less shiny and Oily. I'm not even gonna contour today. That's how like work. I don't. I don't do. I, I typically don't do eyeshadow at all. But my eyelids look weird today, so I base them. And my ears do not match, no matter how hard I try. And I have a huge forehead. Keep my widow's peak. <laughs> I think we're getting somewhere. Okay. Just place it right here. Okay. So I'm gonna go back into this palette and I'm gonna take this one along with my highlighter and do a few highlights as well as create a little bit of color on here. Just so there's, you know, something. Okay, let's see. Look at that. Just look past this way. So now I use hard candy highlighters because there's a lot of glitter in them. You can see, you can see the pan. I've used this one a lot. There's so much glitter. And it goes all over the place and you get it everywhere. And I love it. And I'm a very I love glitter so much. 
Speaking of glitter, you should totally check out Gay Glitter Trash because that is my joint channel with my best friend. So I'm glitter, or I'm trash and she's glitter. And then she calls me glitter bean. So it's really confusing, but I'm trash and she's the glitter. And um, we only have one video up right now, but it was really fun, and I think it looks, I think it turned out pretty great, considering we weren't even planning for it to be a video. So you guys should definitely check it out. There's gay glitter trash with the space in between the end of glitter and the beginning of trash, and the first video is like the first video last ride. It's the only one there. We actually need to change our banner and stuff because me and her both have changed a lot since we made it. It's been about two months. Let's go with this. Don't mind me being quiet. I really have seen a difference since I started using one of these. I didn't use to see it before. But now I do. So next we're going in with eyeliner. Which I did have a Kat Von D tattoo liner that I love so much. But I ran out and I need to get more. Because that was my favorite liner ever. And I'm really bad at this. Like don't watch. It's so bad. That's how I do my wings. It's not very. I do it bigger, but I'm going to work, not like anything crazy. I'm more just outlining my upper eye so that I look more awake, but I try, you know? I try. It's easy to try. If you try, then you're getting somewhere. That's why I'm filming this. I don't know. I just I want to be a YouTuber. I've always wanted to be a YouTuber since I was like 12. I was watching Jack Sotokai and PewDiePie and Markiplier. I still watch Jack sometimes. Markiplier is really changed. I still watch PewDiePie. I love me and Lizzie. It's great. We're sisters, not twins, okay? But it works. I'm seeing my eyes look more open. That's why I like that. Now for mascara, I don't use like normal mascara. I have Lash Science 3D Volume and I use just the gel portion and not the fiber. I actually do have this is the fiber and it's literally nothing it's just weird black stuff and it constantly falls in my eye but it, it makes your lashes look amazing so I try to only use it for really special occasions so what you're supposed to do is you take the gel and put it on then fiber, then gel, then fiber, then gel until you're like happy with your results. But uh, I have an addiction to pulling on my eyelashes, and that fiber just makes it worse. And then it falls in my eyes and stuff, and my eyes are really sensitive. So I just use the gel because I really like the way it looks. And regular mascara is just. I don't have any. I don't like the one that I do have. I threw it away. This is I have from Dollar Store makeup. Or is this is something that my 
mother bought and then she didn't like to use it so And see, it's nothing crazy. It's just a natural, soft look for going to Dairy Queen and make nice cream and washing dishes. Which it'll be completely gone when I get off work because I sweat a lot. I'm already covering my face with the mirror. Okay, so I just stuck the tattoo wand in my eye and put it everywhere. But uh, I'm just gonna roll with it. I'll get it off in a second. Did I say tattoo wand or mascara wand? I'm honestly so tired. Here's our final looks. Thank you for getting ready with me. I know it's a little weird and awkward, but that's just. Sorry, sorry. Bye, my little pretzel people. Have a nice day. Maybe I'll like come back and update you everywhere just to show you how this didn't last. But uh, this video will be up eventually.